Hello, orientation students for the Master of Laws, Master of Science of Laws, and the Doctor of Science of Laws for our International Taxation and Financial Services program here at Thomas Jefferson School of Law. Uh, it's Saturday morning, and we've been through a week of orientation. Uh, we've been getting to know each other, networking amongst the students, uh, setting up our social and our uh, career services profiles and so forth. Uh, I wanted to take this Saturday morning uh, just to refresh us on some of the areas we've covered in case people have forgotten uh, next week and you uh, just don't have time to come back in and ask the orientation questions later. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, you, you're one of those people and you'll be um, wondering by example, how do I address uh, audio quality on Megameeting? So what we're going to do is cover the main primary functional topics that get you started in the program, get you working in the program, in your courses, and so forth. And if you recall, last week in part one, we covered uh, Megameeting, this software program that we're using right now to transmit in our interactive lectures with videos and so forth. For those of you who were in attendance at one of the orientations, you saw 15, 20 of your colleagues in any given uh, meeting uh, with their webcams and so forth set up. So we'll go over meeting and its protocols, uh, in particular the audio selection and then how to speak. Uh, secondly, we'll cover again TWIN and its functionality and the very basics of what you need to do when you go into a course. And then finally, um, We'll cover from part one uh, the uh, databases again, where, where we find those. Then we'll move on to a recoverage of part two. In part two, to remind you, we looked at the social bios uh, section under orientation lectures, under the orientation course. Then we moved on to Facebook. And for those of you who are older, who don't who think Facebook is for kids, uh, once again, I'll show you how to set the privacy settings, which is part of the part two orientation. And uh, then we'll move to LinkedIn and some of the groups that I'm a member of that I, uh, I encourage you to examine whether you should join or not. Uh, finally, we'll just do a, a take a look at an example course as it starts and remind you that this coming week, when you enter your courses uh, for the first time, what you're supposed to be doing. And I'll remind you that one, you post your social bio first and you read the social bio of the other students in the class and the, the course instructors, of course. And then, and then you look at the syllabus. And in the syllabus, you're going to be looking for graded assignments. When do they do? What books do I need to buy? What time is my lectures? Those are the three most basic elements of a course to start off your first, uh, first days with. Having said that, let's go into our into our uh, mega meeting system. I'm going to show my desktop and uh, illustrate the audio functionality. I'm going to go ahead and click on show my desktop and it's going to show you that our presentation will begin in a moment screen. Okay, we're inside the mega meeting program. And you're looking at my desktop. Let's remind you on the very basic functionality of the actual uh, area uh, that you can play with in Mega Meeting itself. The uh, first, the videos. If I were to put my mouse cursor on the corner of a box, any box in Mega Meeting, I can resize that box. So. By example, my mouse cursor is there now, and it reads click and drag to resize video window. So if I uh, left click my mouse, I can adjust the size of a video. I can do that with the chat box down below. I'm widening it uh, in a more rectangular fashion. I can also left click with my mouse button on top of a video and move that video across the screen as well as do that with the chat box. Chat box, by example, moving it up 
toward my picture. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm using a student screen view. That's what you're looking at in this video. And I'm going to, uh, that's the recording one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maximize uh, the chat box so you can read it better. The second functionality is to remember uh, audio and chat. So how did I use audio within Mega Meeting? Well, we suggested during part one that everyone use a headset. You don't have to, though. A lot of Mac users are uh, have built-in cameras and microphones. In fact, most people have built-in cameras and microphones in their laptops nowadays. And the first thing you needed to um, know on the uh, cameras and microphones was how to set them up. Usually Mega Meeting, uh, they'll just turn on automatically, but sometimes you require to set up. And to set up, we simply right click with our mouse cursor on any of the white areas in Mega Meeting, any of the uh, landscape areas. And I right click and it gives me a menu that says settings. You'll see that on your screen in a moment. And then I choose my settings. And I have an Adobe Flash Player settings uh, toolbox. So I'll walk through the icons to make sure that you have them all clicked. Um, for anybody who is in orientation, you've already been through the tech orientation and obviously you have this, but to refresh your memory in case you forget later in the semester, especially if you're doing uh, group presentations or single presentations in class. Uh, first, we want to make sure that we have our hardware acceleration clicked. It's a default, so it should always be clicked. Secondly, we need to make sure that we have allowed, allowed our hardware to be accessed. Our hardware being webcam microphone. Now we'll look at the microphone icon. The microphone icon looks like uh, a microphone, a little picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the picture. And I click on the microphone picture. And now I have a menu of my available microphones. Now, I could use the microphone on my webcam. That's a Logitech Mic a Pro 5000. That's my Logitech webcam. Or I can use my Sigmatel audio webcam. Sorry, my Sigmatel audio microphone, which is my headset. So. If you have a headset, you'll go ahead and click on headset. If you have a, a webcam or a built-in microphone, you'll click on that. On the left-hand side of the menu, it should be moving green to red. And you can readjust your volume uh, once, you've, once you've gotten that far uh, to make it uh, be more in the uh, yellow area as opposed to always red. But if your microphone sounds soft, we just suggest bring it all the way to 100% and you'll adjust it under audio in Mega Meeting itself, which will be at the upper left hand side of your screen when we set up the actual talk. 